Now on a table saw, the fence is adjusted to be parallel with the blade. And since the bandsaw has a uh, blade that moves back and forth on wheels, it's more of a dynamic setting. And we're going to actually adjust the fence to be parallel with the blade actually in the cutting uh, operation. So we're going to go ahead and make a cut and check to make sure that our fence is adjusted parallel to the cutting action of the blade. Now that we've got everything tightened up and everything ready to go here, we're going to power up the bandsaw for the first time. Turning on the saw is simply a matter of pulling the knob out. We've got the fence locked. And we're going to slide the board up against the fence and make the first cut. Now we're going to shut off the saw and let it come to a stop. Shutting off the saw is simply a matter of pushing the switch in. One quick note on the switch is you can actually lock this out if you have kids that are in your shop by removing the little yellow tab from the front. With this pulled out, it'll lock it out and you won't be able to start the saw. I leave mine in position here when I'm in the shop and then when I leave, I simply take that out and put it in the toolbox. Let's go ahead and look at the back edge of the cut. I'm going to raise the upper blade guides up so we can have a look. And what we're looking for is at the back edge of the blade, we're looking to see that the gap is the same on the left and right hand side of the blade. The tooth is going to make the kerf, the blade should remain centered in the kerf if the fence is properly adjusted. Now you'll notice that we're a little bit tight on this side, we're a little bit loose on this side, which indicates to me that the fence needs to be adjusted this way ever so slightly. So in order to adjust that, we're going to go ahead and use our Allen wrench and we're going to loosen the knobs or the bolts up in front here and adjust the fence over. Making this adjustment is easy with the factory Allen wrench. It'll simply drop through the top holes into these. I usually like to loosen two of them and leave one of them a little bit snug so that the fence doesn't flop around. That lets me make this adjustment pretty easy. So simply loosen these. And then position the fence by hand. And then re-secure the fasteners. Now that we've adjusted the fence, we're going to slide it over just to get a new spot on the board and make another test cut. You may have to repeat this process two or three times to make sure that it's exactly centered uh, in that curve. Now that we've got it over, lock the fence down, start the saw, make another cut. And I've raised the uh, guides up so I can have a look. And now I've got the blade centered in the kerf. Again, you may have to do this process two or three times. You just want to get it even on both sides. This demonstrates that we've got our fence properly set because we've got the same gap on left and right hand side of the blade.